Um, yeah, the Annex is a, is a company, uh, it's a freestanding uh, you know, agency kind of network that I started two years ago in, in Chicago. Um, it's a separate building. Um, it's grown to about 70 people, about 25 million in revenue. It is a uh, ground up social center, not an ad agency. So we wanted to start make more of a millennial cultural center than a, at an agency. So we've done probably close to 300 events, art, music, fashion, design, um, ranging from photography gallery events to interactive uh, learning, you know, craft events to record release parties to uh, learning how to cook. Um, it does a lot of different sort of cultural events from, from the center and then we kind of bring that back into our brands and what we sort of do. The, um, and when I say it's not an agency and it is a culture center, we have three artists in residence. We hire what would be considered by the industry to be non-traditional people, people that are video gamers, that are content creators, that are photographers, that are artists coming in to create and promote their artwork, but also to create content and bring that artwork and creativity to a, a wide range of clients. Um, you know, Instagram started out for me like um, my experiment and understanding of social media from the inside out. I didn't want to be an advertising guy that was talking about social media in theory. I wanted to talk about it from someone who really understands a channel from a, a progressive and a, a professional point of view. Um, I've shot photography, um, my same style of kind of like, you know, moody, dark, black and white photography that's kind of emotional. I've shot the same kind of photographs since I've been 13 years old. What I've done with social media is brought that into the kind of like social and digital age where I can serve up and create my content with a wide variety of people. Um, that has kind of snowballed into what my goal was, was to be the biggest expert in advertising on Instagram and on social media. Um, and it's created this whole influencer, almost Instagram, you know, uh, famous sort of, you know, side of it, which I use again as almost like a workout for my day job, which is kind of advertising. So um, I don't really see a difference between the two. Like literally I flow in and out of all of those roles, just like I flow in and out of a role of being a dad or being a husband or being whatever I sort of do, like that's just part of my kind of makeup, you know. The proudest moment of my, career, of my life is when my son and my daughter were born, so I'm going to put that out there first. But the proudest moment of my career was probably tied into my photography and Instagram, which was uh, being, being invited by the White House to shoot Obama's farewell speech in Chicago. It was one of the most moving events, other than my ch children being born, where um, I was there, I was probably this far from, uh, from President Obama, shooting photos of this really highly emotional speech that like literally I stopped for a second. He was, I had this photo of him wiping a tear off his face and I was bawling my eyes out shooting these photos. And normally I'm in that moment because I don't want to miss it because you know, those kind of moments are fleeting, but I just stopped for like 10 minutes and just like listened and felt it. And it was like really moving. Um, as far as what I have to accomplish, there's a lot that I have to accomplish, but like I want to transform and change what the advertising industry is, um, of moving it from creatives to creators. Like I really want to be the one that kind of helps move and change this industry because it's stagnant. It's the same thing it's been since the 90s and I don't care what advertising agencies say, they put band-aids on the problem on top of, on top of, top of band-aids. I want to create a new model of agency and put creators at the center of everything we do. I hire talent on three simple things, and in this order. I only hire nice people. I don't hire any assholes. A lot of the younger talent that we meet, I spend time with them, I get to know who they are, what they're about, what their family likes life, who they are and what drives them as a human being. And I really do mean that. Like I only want nice people, good people. That The second thing is they're optimistic. Negativity gets nowhere. Optimism, ambition um, is, is everything. Then the third thing is talent. And talent is actually pretty simple to me. Talent is about being clever, about flipping something inside out, about showing something in a different way. Those are the three things I look for when I hire people because our industry hires the exact opposite. They hire talented, lazy assholes. I mean, I think it'd be easy to say I'd be a photographer, but I don't think that I don't think that I would have had the focus on photography. I think my advertising job offered me the luxury of focusing on photography as a as a piece of what I do. Um, I think I would have been a mailman, and um, so I grew up and went to high school in Phoenix, Arizona, 
and I loved writing letters to bands and music, and I had a lot of like, I would always be excited about when the mail would come. And the mailmen in Arizona, especially in the neighborhood I grew up in, like they have a they have a mail truck that they drive to a neighborhood and they have a bike and they ride the bike through the neighbors. I go, that would be a fucking dope job. You're outside getting sun, doing stuff. Everyone's happy to see you. So I'd be a mailman. 